Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you are just tuning in, we're in losers. Losers semifinals right now. We are almost there. Top four at this point. And PK Chris is fighting Utopian Ray. The winner will face off against Zone. And the winner of that will head all the way up to Grand Finals. Three, two, one, go! We're going to get into this here. See Utopian Ray pulling out Alamar for this one. Alamar, definitely an interesting character. A lot of changes within the ultimate that it make him a lot different than we've seen previously in, uh, in Smash 4. But PK Chris doing, is being very in your face, or rather in Utopian race face in this matchup. Burn up PK Fire. And burn out those forward airs. Trying to just be almost excessively aggressive. And, man. Don't worry, folks. I didn't see what happened down there either, but... Both players are covering successfully to the stage. The Gay Thunder taking out the purple pigment. And his first stock really going back and forth. And nope, not quite. Okay, Chris. Real dangerous territory at this point. You feel like just kind of trying to sit back, throw the Pikmin, get the damage in, and then just go in for the up, up throw kill in the first stop. You took me like super evasive. Very content to just throw Pikmin and have a good time. Just punish all the all the unsafe approaches that PK Chris is making. Trying to throw those forward airs out. Trying to make the approach. And even bringing the bat out for once. I think PK Chris has been red. Just kidding. He throws the yo-yo out, takes the stock. And we got a nearly even game at this point. Chris doing a lot of work on this stock. Small percentage deficit, but we know in this game that's that's nothing. That's that's half a combo. We took me right there. Doing well, they keep tacking on those percentage points here and there. Although he's got to make this recovery here. And PK Chris can ultimately just basically go straight back to the center stage. Gets the throw off, forces PK Chris off stage. Utopian Ray reading those forward air approaches and just doing well to just not buy into the, buy into the hype there. Dodges around the yo-yo edge guard there. Of course, the PK better recovery. Pikmin doing a great job of blocking those projectiles from PK Chris. A little bit of spaghetti. Reset the neutral and we're going back to throw projectiles. PK Chris just wants no Pikmin on the stage right now. And that is the wise play. Make Alomar as weak as possible. Get rid of any of his recovery options. Pops out with PK Thunder. Oh, good air dodge to get out of that. And the up throw again takes the stock. That's an Alomar with rage. PK Chris needs to clean the stock up quick, or he is going to be in a world of hurt as we move into the final stock. Look at this percentage. He's already up to 48, 54. Momentum is a serious thing in this game, and sometimes you have those percentage points, and you, you're trying to get that finishing touch on your opponent, and sometimes you just don't get it. You start throwing out some unsafe stuff, and I think that's what PK Chris has been doing on the stock, just not being patient. Finally cleans up the stock, but 
puts himself in a bit of a deficit here. Nearly 100%. Kevin Ray waits for his opportunity, hits the smash, and he'll take game one. Alright, game two, it looks like we're gonna go to battlefield. I think we're going to battlefield. All right, Battlefield it is. Stop the battle. Yes. Baltimore. All right, losers semifinals. Still best of three situation. Utopian Ray one game away from moving on to Lucius Finals. And this one's starting out close. A lot of damage being traded in both directions. Ray trying to keep his distance, using the Pikmin to attack the damage on as much as he can. Takes advantage of that missed baseball bat. Spikes on the shield and not able to do much afterwards. Neutral air approaches get punished by Utopia and Ray. Forward air approaches. Pummel action happening. Ray just kind of doing those short hops there to just create create that that wave of a hitbox, inviting PK Chris to come in and up throw again. And PK Chris struggling to find the answer. He knows too that he can't just kind of sit back and find that opportunity. The Utopian Ray will end up tacking that damage on one way or another with those Pikmin. Gets the PK Thunder to connect, tries to go for the edge guard, gets it. We're not in two. PK Chris going a little more aggressive now, throwing that PK Thunder out. It's not going to connect. And Utopian Ray looking to try to create some distance. PK Fire hits an oh my god, nice spike there, but plenty of time for recovery there for Utopian Ray. Had that been a bit higher percentage, it would have been curtains for the stock. PK Chris tries to run the same maneuver back, but he's gonna get punished! And Utopian Ray looking pretty here with a nice percentage. PK Chris trying to find his opening here. He's getting connects with the baseball bat. Sends Alamore off stage. PK Thunder is going to pop him up again. Still has Pikmin, still has that recovery. Harry lands, but no conversion. Ray throwing Pikmin, creating that space, getting those incremental pieces of damage on. Ray's game to lose at this point. PK Chris needs to create a big conversion here in order to bring this game to a game three. So I went outside and I can confirm that the population at Aeon has become rabid animals in response to the set. Um, I don't know why everyone loves this Olimar from Utopian Ray. And I find it funny that I've talked about it all night and we haven't seen it to this point. T-Max, what do you think about this Olimar? It's great. He, he's playing the neutral. 
It's or as some of our, our families like to call it, the, the nooch. nooch. It's the nooch. And the nooch comes in clutch. Now, people may be wondering why the Olimar switch from a Palutena that's done such a good job of 